I'm going to be building a Coke bottle rocket, and to do this, what I need is the rocket, which will be a 2 liter Coke bottle, a stopper that I got at my local hardware store that fits into the, into the bottle, a, a needle for like pumping up a basketball or football, a uh, air pump, like a bicycle tire pump, duct tape, a piece of, uh, this is half inch PVC pipe, some type of a fairly stiff rod that the pipe can fit down, and a drill with a 1 16th drill bit. The construction of this is very easy. It really consists of just drawing, drilling a hole through the stopper, which will be used to, in, which will use to insert the inflation needle through. So just using a 1 16th bit, uh, I'll just tell you what, I'll start on this side so I know it's in the center. And I'll just drill a hole through it. Simple enough. And then I'll just get the, the needle and press it through the hole. You see you get some rubber comes through that, so I think once we hook it up to the pump and pump it, you'll blow that out. So now you'll just insert the needle into your pump, close it down, and there's that step. For the rocket itself, um, you know, the kids can decorate it, paint on it or whatever, but the one key thing is to mount this tube, which will guide the rocket so it holds it, hold it upright so it launches and then guides it straight. Um, what I'm going to do is about midway up, just tape your PVC tube, whatever the tube is you use to, for the guide. Um, Try to make it as straight as you can. So just tape that onto there so that the rod will be through that. And we're done. It's basically built. Okay, we'll pick a suitable launch site where there's nothing straight above so the rocket doesn't hit anything. Um, just press your rod down into the ground a little ways. Uh, want to be stiff enough. Uh, one thing important for safety is the, the, the kids or anybody should not have their head directly above the rocket as you start pressurizing it or of course it might uh, hit them in the head. Uh, so I filled the bottle up about half full. This is one of the parameters the kids could study is um, how high you fill it. Um, do you get a higher higher launch or not based on you know what's the most uh, optimum fill and then uh, so what you do is once it's filled you just press the cork in. Uh, another thing that kids can can uh, study with one another parameter is how hard you press the cork in. You know does it pressed in real hard make it fly higher or, or, or uh, barely pressed in. Then you just slide the rocket over the bar and begin pumping. There's some anticipation because you don't know when the pressure is going to become large enough to overcome the friction of the stopper. So it's, you can't do a countdown, but it's pretty exciting when it suddenly releases. As you see, you get a pretty good flight out of this. So that's it. I've looked on the web quite a bit. Lots of folks show different ways to build this type of little rocket. Um, I have to say I think this is the cheapest and simplest you'll find. Um, and the different things the, the kids can study, as I mentioned earlier, are the amount of water fill and uh, how far hard the stopper is pressed in. Um, I think I, I've played around a little bit and I know the optimum, but I'll let your kids figure that out. Thanks. Have fun. Be safe. Remember, don't put your head over the rocket.